Number 213 from the Indicator series is Day of the Dolphin, starring George C. Scott as Dr. Jake Tyrell. This 1973 Mike Nichols directed movie is a real oddity, and I say that because of the conflicting tone of the movie with the plot of the movie. This movie is a plot about a, a doctor, a scientist who has helped create genetically um, altered dolphins who can communicate, who can verbally talk to the people in their life, who articulate their feelings towards people, who have been trained in a certain manner. Man is good. Why does he believe that, do you suppose, man is good? And at some point in the movie, they are stolen, uh, retrained on how to assassinate someone and it's all about our hero kind of stopping that assassination attempt and saving his friends, the dolphins. But it's done in such a stoic, straight-faced way that you can't help but sit up and pay attention to it. It is, by its simple premise, a silly movie, but it's delivered with such um, straight-faced delivery of lines, of performance, of hard facts that you just can't help but set up and take notice of it. Imagine that your life is spent in an environment of total physical sensation. You've got George C. Scott, who is their main character, uh, Dr. Terrell, who loves these dolphins, who communicates often with these dolphins. The dolphins call him Pa. Um, it sounds silly, but it does happen throughout the movie. It has constant look for more money from his uh, scholastic background from the, the, the university that's supporting him uh, without actually telling them any information. The kind of cloak and dagger feel to the movie as they try to hide what they're up to from people to find out. You've got Paul Servino who plays a really fun role in the movie. This very smart man who is stalking Tyrell and his compound as if up to no good, uh, really comes across in a wonderful performance. I think Servino really almost steals the movie uh, with everything that he does. You a blackmailer, Mr. Mahoney? Good Lord, no. I'm just an average guy with an above average curiosity, and of course I make frenzies. The dolphins are incredibly fun, but for the most part, it takes a long while to get to the crux of the story. Like I said, it's all about an assassination attempt, but that doesn't seem to come into the movie until very late on, in almost the final third. It's all about the build-up to get there. It's all about the use of scientific advancements being warped and twisted by powerful men to make them more powerful, to, to disregard the advantages of... of, of pushing forward this science, but to use it for more base principles. Taking people out, taking out powerful men that may be in their way. Man, say, thing, now. What, uh, what, what is it, what is that? He's calling you a liar. He is, is he? It's such a weird oddity that I enjoyed watching, but I don't know if I can thoroughly recommend this one. Uh, it's one that feels a little bit over long. It does feel remarkably silly at times. Uh, that silliness is, is undercut by that, like I said, the stoic delivery, the, the straight tone that the movie has, this threatening current throughout the film that never really strings to, that never really adds much of a threat, didn't really make me care towards a lot of what was going on. Um, was such a weird movie. I'm glad I saw Day of the Dolphin, but it wasn't one that I fell in love with. It wasn't weird enough for me. It feels as if it should have been weirder and pushed to that boundaries a little bit more, but trying to keep it within the realms of uh, reality while still being a little bit silly was a hard uh, task to accomplish. <laughs> Worth checking out just for the strange weirdness that's going on, for the wonderful performance by Paul Servino. Um, 
But yeah, I, I, I don't know if I've got much else to say about The Day of the Dolphin. Really weird, oddball movie. Um, definitely check out the trailer, see what you think of it. Maybe watch the movie on a streaming service if you get the chance. If you've seen it, I would love to know your opinion of this film. You need to let me know what you think of it, what you liked, didn't. I feel as if it's one that's really open for discussion, so drop me a comment on that. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you're so interested. Uh, hit that like button if you want to help the channel and help this video. And if you really want to support me, join the Patreon membership program. That would be fantastic and greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.